all right um so today we i want to take you through frequency table so that anytime you get a frequency table related question um you wouldn't say opanka didn't teach you that and so today we'll be um, talking about frequency table now assuming you've been given this raw data mm, this raw data three four five two one three three four five two one three Assuming these are marks scored by students in a class. These are marks scored by students in a class. So marks, marks scored, scored by students in a class. Eh? Then you'd be asked to construct a frequency table out of this. A frequency table out of this. And so the marks... With the frequency table, you need to get your x, you need to get your f. So the x is the max, most of the time the x is the data that has been given. And so, with this, we have 1, we have 2 in, we have 3 in, we have 4 in, we have 5 in. So that would be how it will go. And so we have x, the x is what? 1, we have 2 in, we have 3 in, we have 4 in, and then we have 5 in. Simple as that. You get it good now we have f which is the frequency which is what the frequency hmm? okay you before that let's let's create a tally let's create a tally so let's say we have a tally hmm? let's say we have a tally okay so with a tally the first if you look at we have three so Three. Okay. Let's draw the lines in order not to. Okay. So we have three. The next one is four. Five. Two. One. Three. Three. Four. Five. Two, one, three. You get it? Good. So now let's go. To, let's take our frequency, which is our F. Hmm? Okay. So now we have two here. Two. We have four. We have two. We have two. Right? good so now what we do is we have to add our frequency we add our frequency so in adding our frequency we call it sigma sigma f is equal to so 2 plus 2 4 8 10 12 so our frequency is 12 hmm? our frequency is what is 12 okay so this is our frequency table we are done very simple right good but sometimes they'll ask you a question that find the mean find the mean you have the mean so with the mean the formula is sigma the sigma means addition so sigma f x over sigma f sigma f x over sigma f now we know our sigma f what is 12 we don't know fx so fx means we are multiplying our frequency by the max and so you come here these are x these are f so you just multiply one times two two so you write here f x right one times two is two two times two is four three times four is twelve 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 2 is what? It's 10. You get it? So you add everything. And so you can write here sigma fx. It means after we multiply this f and x, we are adding. So 2 plus, this is 6. This is 18. You get 26, 36. So our sigma fx is 36, right? Good. 
And so, when you are told to find the mean, find the mean. Mean is sigma fx over sigma f. Now, sigma fx is 36, and then sigma f is 12. So, 36 divided by 12 is what? Is 3. So, it means that our mean is 3. Our mean is 3. Our mean is 3. Okay, what if you are told to find the mode? The mood. The mood is the um, largest occurring mark or the number. So if you look at this one, which of them has the, if you look at this one, which of these has the highest frequency? You can see it is three. Three has the highest frequency, which is four. And so the mood, the mood is mark three. Hmm? The mood is mark three. The mood is Mark 3. I hope you get it. Good. So, now let's go to, if you ask to find the, the median. Hmm? If you ask to find the median. So, I'm cleaning this part. I'm cleaning this part. Okay, so... So now you've been able to find our mean, you've been able to find our, our mode. So now if you are told to find our median, median is the middle number. Hmm? The median is the middle number. The median is the middle number. So first of all, you take your sigma f. Hmm? Now if you take your sigma f, it is 12. So you divide this into 2. You divide this into two now anytime you get um now this is an even number this 12 is an even number mm, so it means that we will have two numbers which are directly in the middle we have two numbers which are directly in the middle we have two numbers which are directly in the middle and so when we divide this by two you get six you get what you get six so what we have to do, what we have to do is to take the sixth number. Now, if you look here, if you look here, you realize that the number six will be somewhere here. Because when you say two plus two is four, so you mean that um, six will be around this side. Six will be around this side. So from this, we can say that the mean sorry the the median is three do you understand you can say the median is three now another way you can find the median especially when you are giving this raw data is to arrange the data in ascending order is to arrange it in ascending order and so let's arrange it in ascending order that is from the smallest to the largest one one the two is two the three is four mm. the four is two the five is two the five is two now so let's let's look at them the numbers in the middle now they are 12 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so if you want to find the numbers that are in the middle, A four five. One, two, three, four, five. So we can see that these two are in the middle. Mm? We are getting two numbers in the middle because we are having an even number. You get it? Now these two are in the middle. And so if these two are in the middle, they are the same number. So we add. So three plus three is equal to two. So six over two. Which is got three. Eh? So the median, the median is mark three. The median is mark three. Right? Good. I hope we, we get it. Alright, so the median is always the middle number. Now the simplest way to find the median is that anytime you are given a raw data like this, and you are told to find the median, only the median. You are told to find the median. You can arrange 
the raw data in ascending order mm -hmm. you arrange it in ascending order then you come you take the middle number if it is an even number now we, we know that the raw data it was it was up to 12 mm -hmm. it was up to 12 and so you get because 12 is an is an even number you get two numbers in the middle but assuming it was an odd number like 13 or 15 or 9 or 7 or anything other than even number you get only one so assuming this was even um assuming the this wasn't an even number but rather it was um an odd number let's say 13 let's say we had another one like this so when you do your when you when you find the middle number which of these is in the middle eh? you realize that this will go this will go this 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 so you mean that this will be in the middle hmm? three you just write it you get it so that is as simple as that so you that is everything about um the the frequency table everything about it if you are told to construct a frequency table you take your marks or sometimes they will give you scores sometimes they will give you age will be here then you take your frequency if they give it to you in a raw data like this then for for easy calculation you can you make out your tally so that you can get your frequency out of it if they ask you to calculate the mean the mean you call the formula that sigma fx sigma fx over sigma f mm -hmm. the sigma f you just add all the frequency the fx to you multiply the x by the f one times two this 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 blah 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 you get it then you add everything you add everything mm -hmm. you add everything and then you get it so you just write there that's the mean the mode look at the frequency which of them is high this is four so you trace it to the x it is three so the mode is three hmm? good the median with the median you take the middle one eh? take the middle one if it is in a raw data like this you arrange it in ascending order then you do ping, 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 ping. if you get two numbers in the middle direct you just add the two you divide by two you get it but if you just get only one you just write that one are we okay good as simple as that thank you all right so this is all about um um the the frequency the frequency table as simple as that you get it there are times they will give you they will draw the data for you hmm? they'll draw the data for you they'll draw they'll give you x they'll give you f then just say they will tell you to just construct a frequency table and so without when they ask you to find the mean you'll be able to find the mean which is sigma fx over sigma f. I hope you understand. Okay, so um, we will change, we will change this and then treat another um, topic tomorrow. All right. So thank you so much. So I'll send you the question, and then you do it for me. Okay. Bye bye.